Unit AZ-2003. Here is a brief overview of what we'll be going through today. We're going to do a quick introduction and we'll go over unit goals as well as our wellness program, <coughs> accomplishments, some pictures of cadets in action, a summary of our community services, co-curricular activities, and some numbers for our retention. Um, welcome to Prescott. We are a geographically isolated unit. We're about 100 miles away from the nearest detachment and Air Force Base. And a lot of people here haven't seen a military uniform, so we try to integrate that mindset to them and include them. Um, let's start off with our goals. So, Kiernan will. So they actually go in and plan lessons as well as wellness for the month. They put that on a calendar and they um, carry it out in the classes. So that is our AS400 program and at this time it's currently completed. Good morning, sir. I'm Cadet First Lieutenant Sydney Seeley. I'm a junior and this is my third year in junior ROTC. So this is our school impact goal. And um, this year we're going around to our one Peter middle school, Mile High, and we're talking to them about junior ROTC as a recruiting um, option. And um, we have already gone on two visits to the Mile High PE classes, and we hope to hit um, the, the NJHS, Student Council, and Life Skills classes as well. Good morning, sir. I'm Cadet Captain Tobias Bittner, and I'm a junior here. This is one of our school impact goals. Now, this year we had a unique opportunity. The principals came and asked us to create a program to honor students who have gone above and beyond in what they do, either in academic, sports, extracurriculars, or co-curricular activities. So when we did this, we implemented the Honor Flag program. Now, what this is, is teachers and the administration can submit students to us, and we will go ahead and fly an Honor Flag that we have out on our main flagpole that day and we will honor them in the school announcements and we have a board that their name goes up and their date and everybody can see that in the entire school. And with that, uh, we're going to go ahead to the test. Good morning, sir. I'm Cadet Second Lieutenant Tanner Cassidy. And so for our first community impact goal, we, uh, we went up and painted the P on P Mountain, which uh, you'll see it on the way out. It's just a big white P for Prescott. And so we brought about 30 cadets up there on November 20th, and we were able to uh, complete this goal. So our second community impact goal is something called Food Neighbors. And every two months, there's a giant food drive. We collect a couple thousand pounds of food. And JRO2 always sends about a dozen kids over there to move all the food around to put it in the community pantries. And this isn't completed because we do it every two months, so it will be completed in March. OK, can I ask some questions? How many, uh, what's your goal for the unit community service hours? Um, we didn't set a number goal, but we try to exceed a certain Okay, what's your goal per cadet? We don't. Well, 10 hours per uh, quarter. So. 10 per quarter. How'd you pick that? Um, 
just came to the house. How many do you need for the year to be a distinguished unit per cadet? 1,800, sir. How many? 1,800. How'd you come up with that? How many cadets do you have? We have 156. And you need how many hours per cadet? 18, isn't it? Somewhere around there? We it's do pretty high. hours a quarter, sir, so that's Okay. 40. So you could do the math and come up with the unit goal, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So you could, uh, on one of those slides, you could have a pie chart or something like that. This yes. is our unit goal. Okay, I'm kind of giving you some feedback, but mm -hmm. you can have your what your unit goal is and where you're at. How you display it's up to you. Okay, but you should have that in there. You should know that. Whoever the community service person briefing the, the slides like that. Okay, also, uh, have you ever won the community service, well, the Silver Star Community Service Excellence Award? No, sir. Is that one of your goals? to achieve that or not? Okay, if it's not, that's fine. You didn't brief it, did you? Okay. Um, what's your desired graduation rate for your unit? It's probably going to be 100% in. You want all your seniors to graduate, right? So you should have that also on your goals there, what your desired graduation rate is. I think that that might be one of the requirements or one of the suggested items, along with attendance rate, stuff like that. And you could also have something as far as suspension rate. You could. That's up, that's up to you, but I think graduation is really important. All right, and then you might compare it to the school, how you guys uh, measure up to the school. Okay. All right, carry on, please. Good morning, sir. I'm also the wellness officer for the court, and we have all of our cadets participating in wellness um, every Friday, and all five of our presidential fitness tests were completed in August and inputted into WINGS at the beginning of October. And we have 100% of our parental release <coughs> forms submitted and entered into WINGS and, as well as a hard copy in our files. And um, every Friday we have um, our wellness day and we go through those three in like a three week period. So every week we do fitness and then next week team building, next week competition and we just cycle through those. Very good. These are some of our current cadet accomplishments. We've been a distinguished unit for 11 years now. Our community service is a big part of our program. Overall, we've had 5,000 hours, that was for last year, of both individual and unit community service. Um, we advertise for organizations outside of the school, so we'll take in their recommendations or requests, and we give them the manpower to help complete their goals. Our, our academic goal team got second place at the first competition they competed, and this is their first year, so we're very proud of them. And they've also moved on to the second round of the online course. Orienteering, we host two major events, two major meets each year. We do that at the end and the beginning of the school years. That's because down in Phoenix it's really hot, so we try to bring them up here so they can enjoy the cooler weather. We've had currently an Air Force Academy cadet um, be a national competitor and he was awarded uh, first place. Our Outstanding Cadet Corps website is another very important thing that we're proud of. We keep our calendar on there and as well as our handbooks. So everything is digitalized for us. Our textbooks are also online. Do you, uh, yes, sir. Okay, so the, the cadets manage the website? Yes, sir. Do you guys put your lesson plans <coughs> on there? Yes, sir. We Things do. like that. Mm -hmm. Do you have iPads or can we have Chromebooks, but that Chromebooks. is just for our leadership classes. Just, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Our senior aerospace leadership class, that is our leaders here, we come in every class out, every day for one class period, and we, as well as leadership, we do um, book work too. So at the same time we're getting a leadership credit, we're getting um, a school credit, so it counts for uh, science of flight. Badger Buddies, that is a program that we installed last year. Um, a leader in the community came to us and asked us to help her out with her elementary school project. She wanted to see how mentorship in 
lower level education to help them grow. So we're a mentorship program out at Taylor Hicks Elementary School. Our Wingman program is another part of our program that we use. Um, each cadet in our core has a buddy, so they have someone that they can talk to and they have their contact information. So anytime they need help or just need someone to talk to, they are welcome to call them. Two former cadets are currently at the Air Force Academy, and six are currently on ROTC scholarships, as well as numerous cadets have served active duty, guard, and reserves. Here are a few pictures of the events that we host throughout the year. This is our military ball that we had at the, in February last year, as well as our camping trip flag ceremony. Every year we go on an FTX camping trip, so it helps boost the morale of the Corps, and we just help them get out there. Um, we went to the Titan Missile Museum last year down in Tucson. We took down 30 cadets, and while we were down there, we also went to the U of A and visited their ROTC detachment. Our rocketry launch from last year, our rocketry club, hasn't been started up yet this year, but um, we are waiting for more competitions to open up. Have you had a CIA trip this year? Yes, sir. Um, we went down to Luke Air Force Base, okay. and there was a luncheon that... Did you take all your cadets? We had 40 cadets that went. Um, our 9-11 ceremony we host each year, uh, the chief of police and fire department come out and visit that too. Our change of command, that is at the end of each semester, that's where everyone gets together and we um, just change positions. And then our ASU college tour, that was another one that we went out at the beginning of the year and we visited their ROTC detachment and had a tour of the school. How many cadets did you take? We took 30... 35, 35, it was near 35. Okay, um, here's a summary of our community service. This year, or last year, we conducted 3,798 community service hours. All of our events were loaded into wings, and it was an average of 26.9 hours per cadet. We had six CIA trips last year, um, about 100 of 148 cadets participated, and that's about 70% of our cadet corps. For this year, we have had two um, CIA trips and two <coughs> more plans. So the ASU trip that we went on and Luke Air Force Base, um, that's what we had earlier this year. And 46 out of 156 currently have participated. Some of those have overlapped. And we are planning on doing an Embry-Riddle school visit, as well as an Air National Guard flight and a davis Mothman Air Force Base. Can I interrupt real quick? If you haven't contacted the Air National Guard, Colonel Simmons? They say they're going to fly again this year, and, and they told us we were on the list. So you might want to call. I just wrote that down. Yeah. They haven't done that in a long time. They haven't done time. a long time, and okay. I just met the commander at that AFCOD luncheon at Thanksgiving. He said they were talking about doing it, and I just got a message. I'll give it to you before I leave today from the oh, captain okay. up there to contact them. I just got it like last week. Thank you. you bet. <laughs> So our leadership development requirements, these are nine co-curricular activities that we have in our core, so um, cadets are welcome to participate in all these. Our honor guard team raises and lowers the flag every day, every school day, so, and at the end of every school day they take them down. Our color guard team does 20 to 25 color guards um, a year. We, last week we went to the government's, or, I'm sorry, the Mayor's inauguration, and we did the color guard for them. Our academic bowl team, um, like I said earlier, won second place at their competition, and is moving on to the next round. Our awareness presentation team is a recruiting club that we help advertise Dear Otzi to be middle school students. So, like um, Cadet Second Lieutenant Cindy Seeley said earlier, we go to the middle schools and at our feeder middle school and recruit them to come to our program. Our orienteering team, we host two events um, each year at the end, of, at the end and beginning of the school years, and our rocketry team comp competes each year too. Uh, we host an FTX each year, so that boosts the morale of the cadets, and a military ball as well, and our community service is another thing that we're very proud of. And about 82% of the units cadets participate in at least one of our co-curriculars. So these are just basically our community service 
uh, hours there. Um, so as of 2016 and 17, we completed 3,798 unit community service hours, but that doesn't count individual. So each individual cadet will do their own community service hours. So for example, I volunteer at a Biogen with the kindergarten staff. So, um, but uh, in 2016 and 17, we've done over 5,000 community service, which is combined. And then so far in 2017 and 18, we had 1,400 plus community service hours. How do you track and uh, document the individual community service? We have forms that they turn in at the end of the quarter. Very good. I'm in charge of the honor guard and color guard, um, making sure that the commanders are doing their jobs. So uh, for honor guard, we've raised over 40,000 um, since 2006, so that's a, over 11 years, about. Wow. Um, for Color Guard, we have 25 per year, um, and that includes fire departments, police departments, and inauguration ceremonies. Um, and we hold the 9-11 ceremonies every year for the past 10 years. So here are our recruiting and retention efforts. Um, we go to the middle schools, like I said earlier, and we try to target the gym classes, the life schools classes, as well as the leadership classes, so NJHS and Student Co. Um, we cast a wide net, so we have a lot of freshmen that come into our program, and we know that some of them we won't keep. So that's why our retention rates from the freshman year to sophomore year are so low. As you can see, it's 37%. But as we go into junior and senior year, or sophomore, junior, and senior year, we get those cadets really involved in our program, and they kind of want to stay. So that's the reason why our freshman to sophomore year retention rate is so low. So these are other teams or clubs that are participated in by our cadets. 69 of them are on sports teams, whether that be volleyball, softball, baseball, etc. Student government, we've had three this year. In the past, we've had student body presidents in our program, too. Choir band, orchestra, and drama, we have 45, so that's about a third of our um, cadets. And we've had, well, currently at the U of A, the drum major was also in our program, too. And I was a drum major last year for the marching band. Um, clubs, 63 of them are involved in clubs, so NHS, um, Academic Honors Club, there's Environmental Club, so they're very involved in a diverse range of clubs. In our AP Honors classes, we're very proud of the cadets, that's over three quarters of our um, unit that are involved in AP and Honors, so whether that be pre-AP or <coughs> pre-college courses. This is just a brief overview of all the activities we do outside of school before we DRC. And Black Commander School is we pick new cadets to be in charge of their class, and this is when we teach them. And then the FTX is when we go on a camping trip every spring. And then the military ball is every year we have a big formal party for all the cadets. And the cadet leadership course is over summer. A couple of cadets are chosen to go to this camp become better leaders. And then the cadet exchange is when we send some of our leaders to another core or they send some of our their leaders to our core so we can exchange ideas and make both cores better. Okay, uh, for your FTX, who's, <coughs> how do you select people for the FTX and how many go? Uh, the whole cadet core is invited to go. All right, how many normally go? It, it varies from year to year, but 80, 80 to 100. Where do you go? There's a there's a camp that's right outside of Prescott called Friendly Pines, something like that. And they, they we do community service for them every year, so they let us use the camp. Yes, yeah, through the Kiwanis Club. We help them out with their auction every year. Okay. How about your military ball? Where do you hold that? That is it changes from year to year. The last year we did it at Prescott Resort and we're planning to do it at Prescott Resort also. And I'm gonna assume since you're kinda isolated, you're the only unit? 
Okay. Hundred miles. You want to come up? <laughs> Eighty-five, actually, from my house. I measured today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but in the snow, this is we, all I know. <laughs> we hear rumors every now and then about Bradshaw Mountain. Is they're on the list for an Air Force expansion? But we've also heard rumors about Army possibilities. Mm -hmm. We would love to have another unit somewhere relatively close that we could share those kinds of events with. Mm -hmm. But not there yet. Of what we went through today, and if you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> How many times have you practiced this presentation? We ran through twice with this group, sir. With this group, mm -hmm. okay. I guess my number one question is why do you get to talk all the time? <laughs> do you want to share the wealth with the rest of the cadets? Yes, I, yeah, I would. I think it's because, well, we try to designate it to our commanders, but I could do a better okay. job. Does everybody have a functional area or a job they're responsible for? Yes, yes. sir. Okay. Yes. And you should probably have a backup for each? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because stuff happens, right? Yes, sir. Especially it might happen to her, then what are you going to do? I so, Good. Yes, so let's go to the first slide. Let's go to the beginning. <clears throat> Uh, this is fine. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you what we did. You don't have to do what we did, but uh, take notes, mm -hmm. yes. We we practiced. We would hammer them. Okay, I was pretty nice to you today because I hadn't seen it before. I hadn't seen you put it together. <laughs> I don't know you that well, um, but then we'd invite counselors in and assistant principals in. Not the principal, but the system principals, and they would, I'd give them a list of questions to ask to certain people, interrupt them, so you get used to that, because he will interrupt you, yes, all right? So just pause, listen to the question. If you don't know it and somebody else knows it, they can raise up their hand and answer the question, all right? Um, so be ready for that. You guys have pictures. I don't know if you want to do this, but we've always put a three-minute video. You guys all know the movie Napoleon Dynamite, right? Yes, that song we're friends, blah, 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 it's all nice and happy talk that we're going to be friends. <laughs> so we've always had like a two and a half minute video of pictures of the cadets and it says AZ20064 cadets in action and then it goes in that song with the videos, okay? And they've always liked it, they've given us best practices, I think, because of the diversity of students we have up there talking and that slideshow is really kind of handy. It, with that slideshow, we really don't want to say anything, to be honest with you, about what we do. But you got a month, so you might want to put something like that in there. I don't know. But that's up to you. Okay, so let's go over this. That's good, so they have an understanding of uh, how isolated you guys are. Okay, so how, it's difficult to get anywhere to do anything, and it's costly. Maybe you can get some extra money for buses, stuff like that. So, yeah. We'll pay for it all on. Okay. okay, next please. Okay, we talked about cadet impact. That's that's outstanding right there. Okay, that that's a plus. But this is where you should probably have uh, graduation rates, attendance rates, yes, things like that. Suspension rate. Um, unfortunately, the week before Thanksgiving wasn't good to us. We exceeded our suspension rate in one week. <laughs> Usually, we don't. We had one back bad week. All first year cadets. That's one really bad week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and I have parents call me wondering why their kids aren't welcome back. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next slide, please. That's an outstanding program. This is two, and I try to get my kids, cadets to actually present, do certain presentations, stuff like that. Yes, so that was a, a great goal. Go ahead, please. Uh, let's oh. go back, though. All right, just since we're talking, uh, mm -hmm. Colonel Simmons, when you come into, this is third period, fourth and sixth, we have two classes showing up each period. 50 freshmen in there and 20 Science of Flight kids here. Mm -hmm. Our normal day is the AS 400s teach the class. They run the show. We're required to have clickers and do our thing. So when it comes to that, you will tell us what to do. But our normal day is the AS 400s teach the class. That's so. That's a cadet-run program. Mm -hmm. That is perfect. Okay. 